Badger. Yeah. I had dinner on the moon. That's nice. Yeah. It was nice food, but there wasn't much atmosphere. Because it's the moon. Hello and welcome to the Spiral Dimension. I'm Dr. Von Hoot and this is the Magic Badger. Say hello, Magic Badger. Hi. Okay, we've got a slap, we've got some raw books. Let's crack on. Whoosh. Mark Miller's Nemesis Reloaded. And this is the cover A, I think. It's such a cool book. Yeah, it's the coloured version. Yeah, we had the we had the uh, black and white variant earlier in a different unboxing. Very cool. Very cool. Ooh. Cool in the game. First up. Well, it's a DC book because there's an advert for the Flash on the back of it. Ooh. DNA all day, baby. Green Arrow issue one, the David Nakayama Baron. That's pretty cool. I don't, I don't remember buying this at all, but it is totally the kind of thing I would buy because I like DNA quite a bit. There's a Shazam advert on the back. No, we never got around to watching the second Shazam film. We probably should. Oh, okay. Yeah, Superman issue two. I think this might be the first full appearance of this this character. Um, I want to say her name Moonlight or something. I am actually reading this despite my memory failing me terribly. But yeah, I, lo I love the this Spider the Superman run. Really, really fun. And this is um, the cardstock variant. I like that. <laughs> Well, it's got a Moon Girl advert on the back, so it's got to be Marvel. Yeah. Ah, Mary Jane and Black Cat. Yes, a rather fetching cover. You know I'm a sucker for Black Cat and Mary Jane, to be honest. As a team up goes, why not? Whoosh. Again, another DC advert, so it's got to be a DC book. Whoosh. Oh! Oh, that is a great cover. Superman issue three. Oh, wow. That's a cardstock variant again. That is awesome. See, with, with Superman specifically, I, I, I tend to avoid the cover A's just because they're just not quite as cool as the variants. And look at this, this is awesome. And that's proper Man of Steel vibes. He's he's going to go, getting ready. Mm. Yeah, we, we used to love watching Superman the movie, didn't we, back in the olden times. We still do. It's a great film. But that was your favourite superhero for years, was Superman. That's awesome. Really like that. It's minty too. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, slap time! Slap. I'm excited for this one because I didn't buy it for me. I bought it for 11 year old me. Okay, this is exciting. This is a, this is a big book for me because um, I started collecting Spider-Man when I was, yeah, about 11, 12. And this came out in 1992. So it was already out a couple of years from when I started collecting. But I was obsessed with this character. And this is the first appearance of whoosh, Carnage. In a 9.6, Amazing Spider-Man 361. And the movie coming out and tanking so badly has made that this, this book is really affordable now. It used to be extortionate. And now I got a 9.6 copy. So yes, this makes like 11 year old Hoot, very happy. Is he, yeah, 
like, I, I loved Carnage <laughs> back then. I was obsessed with the look of him and uh, the fact that he was, he was a bit, he was part Venom and part a new character. Yeah. Really, really excited to have this in the collection. And I think this is the time to buy this, this character because Carnage will be back in cinema and it will be done uh, well, eventually, it will happen. It's bound to. So cool and ridiculously affordable now. First full appearance of Carnage, brackets, Cletus Cassidy. Yeah, yeah 9.6. Mark Bagley and Randy Emberlin cover an art. Brilliant. Really chuffed to have that. Very exciting. Cool. Thanks for your help, Badger. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like, subscribe, the usual jazz. Tell us what you thought about the raw books and the slab. And we'll catch you next time in the Spiral Dimension. Peace! From the Spiral Dimension.